Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome to a new video in my long running series on affordable guitars. So it's a huge playlist, I'll link to it above, but today we're gonna add to that playlist with a brand new guitar from Donner. Well, without any further ado, let's go ahead and unbox the brand new Donner here. Let's see if I can grab it out this way. All right, so let's find out what's in the bag. Now, I already took a look at the accessories. I'll show you those uh, really quick. What I'm mostly interested, in, of course, is what's in the main bag, but you do get a really nice instrument cable. Uh, they must have upgraded their cables because the one that I came with the guitar I bought last year, this one looks quite a bit nicer. So it's nice to have like a decent-ish cable, uh, a strap, and then of course your adjusting tools. So that's what's kind of uh, included with the guitar and obviously a gig bag too. So let's find out what's in the gig bag here we go all right here it is this is always an exciting moment i don't care if it's a budget guitar or not check this thing out this is not a finish you see too often wow this reminds me of a very specific finish on a brand i shall not mention right now but was kind of discontinued I think probably around the year 2000 or something like that. Uh, love this finish. You do not see it on a lot of guitars. So let's put it on the bench, take a closer look. Of course, we'll plug it in and yeah, we'll check this Donner out. Well, here it is, you guys. This is the Donner DST 400. Now there's a couple things I want to point out right off the bat. Check out that trem system. That is a two point trem. Almost unheard of in a guitar of this price tier. Uh, most of them have the six screw trim that if you use it, boy, you got to work really hard to keep that in tune. So I'm hopeful that this will hold tune a little bit better, but lovely to see that two point trim on an entry level guitar. So that's well done Donner for sure. Love to see that. And if you notice something about the trim bar here, there are no threading on it. Like you don't even get that on higher end brands. This is a pop in pop out bar. Man, love to see that. So you just pop it in, use your trim. Ooh, that's pretty stiff. I think they probably have about four springs on the back there. That's really stiff, but we'll try it out. And uh, yeah, crossing my fingers that is gonna hold tune. And then when you're done, you just pop it out. It fits perfectly in your gig bag. And when you wanna use it, pop it in. Man, I love to see that. Now, since we're talking about the trim system, I took the back cavity cover off to take a look. So here it is. Three springs, uh, the spring rate is very stiff, so I might, uh, yeah, adjust that. But uh, the block looks decently good, I gotta say. You know, it's not super thin, it hasn't been tapered or cut in a weird way. So there you guys go, that's just kind of a quick look at the back cavity cover. Now, as for the rest of the guitar, it is an older body, and I gotta say the grain is quite pleasing. It does look good in this translucent finish. Just give you guys a few shots of that. Looking at the end grain, I think it's a three-piece body on this one. Sort of hard to see there, but yeah, really, really nice. Um, not sure what the fingerboard is. It's one of the many Rosewood substitutes. Looks fine. I like that it's not, you know, too overly red, especially with this finish. And there's a shot of the headstock there. Split head tuning machines. So more of a, like a vintage affair on the back with a really modern trim. So that's interesting. And of course, humbucker, single, single. There also is a quill split, just like that. So you can split that back humbucker. So there's, I think that quill split and the two point trim with the pop and bar are features I've never seen on any guitar in this price tier. Now, as for some of the other aspects of this guitar, I put it on the scale with the bar in, it came in at 7.3 pounds. So very respectable on the lighter side uh, for a lot of S type guitars. So right in that Goldilocks zone, it's very comfortable. Um, front face of the frets, uh, very nice. Kind of surprised at this. Most of the guitars in this price tier, you'll hear like, massive amounts of grinding <laughs> on the frets just because the front faces haven't been polished but here you don't it just sounds like any other guitar you can hear a little friction but no you know raspy kind of uh yeah grabbing between the string and the fret so that's really nice when you look at the fret ends uh they feel very nice sliding up and down um but i would say they're 
average for a guitar in this price tier. When you zoom way in, you can see they haven't been buffed up, they haven't been polished, they've put their fine file on that um, and called it a day. So uh, the fret ends, yeah, definitely about average for a guitar like this. Uh, the nut, they don't list the material, so I'm assuming it is just regular plastic, but it is cut quite nice. And when I use the bar, like I barely used the bar on this guitar, obviously, since we just unboxed it, no pinging at all. So lots of times you'll hear something pinging on uh, the string trees or getting caught in the nut. There's none of that. And I haven't put graphite or anything in there. It's just straight out of the box. So that's also a good sign that uh, hopefully this thing will hold tune. So that's kind of, uh, yeah, an overview of the old Donner here. Here's a shot of the headstock. So let's plug it in and take a listen to these pickups. All right, so let's get a sense for what this guitar is like to play and of course what it sounds like. We're going to start in the neck pickup completely clean. Here we go. Let's give it a shot. Now, the first thing I will say is these are definitely Alnico pickups. You know, really chimey and bright, even in the neck. So yeah, definitely Alnico pickups, which is pretty sweet. Um, yeah, let's go to position four. Again, yeah, not necessarily guaranteed them um, on a guitar in this price tier, so that's nice. Yeah, definitely some quack right off the bat there. So that's position four. It's some good, good quack there. Let's try, uh, yeah, position three. Now, as soon as you go to position two and you get the humbucker in there, you definitely get a little bit more volume. So that's position two with the humbucker. Let's split that coil and just go position two with the split coil. Yeah, definitely add some more beef when uh, it's not split. And then of course the actual, you know, humbucker itself. Let's try splitting that coil, doing the same kind of thing. So let's try adding some gain. I'm really curious about this humbucker, what it sounds like with a little dirt. And finally, I got to find out what this two point trim is like. So we're going to give it a go. Now, of course, the caveat is, well, I haven't done anything to this guitar. The strings have barely broken in, <laughs> so they're still stretching out. I haven't put graphite in the nut or any of the normal things I would do to get a trim, you know, kind of working really well. But anyway, here we go. We're going to try it. So let's do some deep dives. Not 
terrible. I mean, it's not completely in tune, but uh, I'm pretty confident that a person would be able to get this trim, um, you know, once everything's broken in and everything working super well. So uh, yeah, that's a great feature. So here are my final thoughts on the Donner DST 400. Now, the main strength of this instrument, of course, is the price. It's accessible to most people um, without breaking the bank. The other thing is the two-point trim, the pop-in bar, and the humbucker single single, which I do love, and the ability to split that. Those are features you find in guitars like 500, 600, 700, 800 dollar guitars. Some even higher than that don't have some of these features. So uh, yeah, they've done a good job bringing high-end features to an entry-level guitar. So I gotta give them props for that. And other than that, you know, it's an S-type guitar. I've owned a Donner before. They're good entry-level guitars. Build quality is good, you know, it's an S-style guitar with a bolt-on neck. You know, <laughs> you can't screw that up. Nice maple neck on here. Uh, yeah, interesting choice to go vintage on the tuning machines, but they, they, they work really well. And I do like the fact that you can, you know, put it in your case, put your hand on there, tune. If you slip, you're not gonna, you know, make yourself bleed because the string ends go into the tuning machine. So I actually do like that style of tuner uh, quite a bit. So yeah, other than, you know, I would say the fret ends could be polished up a bit more, but you don't feel it when you play. So it's really, you know, not that, uh, huge of a deal. Obviously, you're not going to get high-end polished frets on a guitar in this price tier, but uh, yeah, they've done a great job on, I think, the areas that matter. The trem, you will be able to make this work. So this is an entry-level guitar that you can actually use the trem, which is huge. And yeah, the tones are good. Alnico pickups, again, sometimes in guitars in this price tier, you'll end up with ceramic-based pickups, which is just a bigger, heavier type tone. Um, yeah, so overall, yeah, really nice guitar. Thanks so much for joining me on another affordable guitar demo. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to subscribe to the channel. Other than that, hope you guys have a great day. Take care.